Today we're showing the awk, the overclocking cryogenic chiller, from mount to bench. We're going to show each step uh, and how simple it is. You can see in the video the X99 uh, ASRock board. It's the Extreme 4. Uh, we're starting with adding the heat sink paste. Uh, you'll see our new design of the mount, the awk mount. Um, we're going to run some benchmarks and uh, just show uh, how simple and easy it is to, to, to mount and run the awk. Um, the awk can be run open bench and it can be uh, run inside the purge case. Um, we've chosen to, to use a purge case. Um, what the purge case does is uh, purges out all of the moisture from uh, the environment around the motherboard. Um, it's a retrofitted case that we hermetically seal with a check valve and uh, yeah and so uh, you'll see it running. There's a uh, little snippet of the new mount and head. As you can see, the insulation goes all the way down to uh, the bottom of the head, the cooling head, and uh, so it's pretty pretty simple to use. It's uh, it's a lot like the um, the phase change systems, um, other than you can do temperatures all the way down to minus uh, 100. And 80, 185, 186, um, probably all the way down to 190. Anyways, uh, so we're running this on the Intel 5960X is the chip that we're going to be running today. And uh, yeah, so enjoy. So as you can see, we use springs and you can see the um, the purge kit suspended there and the hose and all. You're looking at the delivery hose. Liquid nitrogen delivers down to the chuck and then um, liquid or gaseous nitrogen exhaust uh, purges away. We're going to install these nuts. Just a couple of wing nuts on each uh, a wing nut on each of the posts. Pretty simple. And um, the next we're going to install the purge case cover. Purge case cover has a couple of uh, parts. There's the window, there's the seal, and uh, there's the in and out. Uh, so the liquid nitrogen and gaseous nitrogen delivery hose that you see in between my hands there delivers uh, liquid nitrogen down to the chuck uh, where it flashes or boils. The gaseous nitrogen travels back up that hose and then uh, uh, is returned in this case down to the purge case. Again, you can you can use this system open benching. It doesn't have to be used with a purge case. In fact, uh, we have a couple of pros that are uh, going to be using it on an open bench in the next few weeks. And uh, so anyway, that's that. Again, we we for the um, for the ease of use and the preservation of the of the board, we have decided to use the purge case. But for all of the uh, pot users out there not uh, the green pot users but the silver and gold pot users for all of you guys out there um, this system can be mounted uh, open bench next step is going to be putting on the, uh, the purge cover purge case cover and uh, it can be mounted with that window um, uh, with that window on or uh, in this case, uh, I can't remember why, but we decided to, to mount the window after that window will slide over the bottom of the um, it'll slide over the bottom of the cooling head. So um, after we installed the purge case cover, 
uh, we start up the yawk. It runs for about 10 minutes and there's a little bit of a time lapse. Don't worry, you haven't been abducted by aliens. We just figured since this video was already nearly 20 minutes long with the three benchmarks uh, included at the end, um, we'd save some time in between. So. Um, on this particular case, uh, there are about four or five screws that I got to screw in. But say you wanted to open the case up to mount uh, another CPU or change your GPU, um, that uh, the entire uh, AUK window, the purge case window, can be uh, either slid up the hose and suspended, or um, say you're changing the chip out you can remove the hose and um, and change the chip out so anyways that's the window we're attaching the, the the top of the case now we're attaching that whole cover and we're sliding down the seal over the hole uh, so that's uh, that's the purge case it's ready to go it's ready to create the zero ice environment um, now we're going to show the, this is a photo of the awk. Um, it's run for about 10 minutes and it's down at about uh, minus 123. Matter of fact, it's probably even less than 10 minutes at round four to, to get to that point. Um, it cools pretty quick. Uh, Got to do some bio settings changes uh, before we overclock. Um, we do an initial overclock of uh, nearly five gigahertz and then we um, bump up the uh, the clock to 5 in um, in XTU. Uh, pretty soon we're getting another motherboard. This happens to be an ASRock uh, motherboard and we're going to get the uh, ROG uh, Rampage 5 Extreme, I think it is. Uh, next, uh, we're finding that some of the settings and things that we need to do a uh, decent overclock are not uh, are not good enough with this board so uh, next point is uh, we're going to show the software that we run the awk with from within the operating system so um, but before that we're going to just show a picture of what it looks like inside the purge case after about 15 minutes um, as you can see uh, it's at uh, minus uh, roughly 125 degrees inside there, um, or at least the, the chuck is at minus 125 degrees, and um, that uh, gaseous nitrogen is flowing down that rear hose and into the purge case. It's chilling everything in the purge case, probably somewhere uh, down around zero degrees Celsius, and um, anyways, so that's the zero ice environment um, that's offered with the with the purge case we can retrofit um, basically any case uh, uh, to work so if you wanted to order a case online um, and have it shipped to us or we could order a case and uh, and retrofit it and uh, turn it into a purge case um, there is uh, the capability and we can give uh, some 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 suggestions on how to um, do a do-it-yourself purge case, uh, but we don't suggest doing that. We suggest just buying them from us because then we're guaranteed, you're guaranteed that there's not going to be any ice buildup uh, inside of the case because we correctly uh, seal and, um, and check valve the case. Anyway, so here we're going to go ahead and boot up. Next, uh, next step uh, that you're going to see is setting the temperature uh, from within the OS. Initially when you uh, mount the awk you um, run the temperature down uh, manually from the uh, from the interface on the controller box that's up near the doer. Um, after that you are able to boot up and then you can change the temperature um, either with profiles or manually, which we do in this video, uh, through the AUK software. So um, here you see the AUK software. 
it is uh, right now you see the set point is at minus 135 degrees Celsius and uh, uh, we're just gonna uh, briefly show um, how to set it up here throughout the video actually we do some set point changes so all right so we'll we'll do that during um, the next benchmark but for this first benchmark um, we have set the awk at minus 116 degrees Celsius. Um, it is uh, it's actually minus 117, and the current uh, temperature is minus 116. So as you can see, we've uh, overclocked to 5.003 gigahertz. Um, got CPU ID CPU Z open right now. And we're just going to run a benchmark uh, and just show um, the uh, responding um, to the benchmark. Um, it doesn't, uh, temperature doesn't change very much with Intel XTU. As you can see on the left there, I, um, I had forgotten to click the, um, the analog input monitoring, um, but uh, that, uh, on that drop down menu, um, where it says analog input monitoring. If I had clicked that, you would uh, actually be able to watch the uh, temperature go up and down. And I think with the next uh, benchmark, which is Cinebench, um, you can actually watch the, the temperature change, uh, or at least for the most part, some of the temperature change. Anyway, so that's a real quick benchmark that we ran there. And uh, the next is Cinebench benchmark. Cinebench R15. And we'll go ahead and click run. Run the Cinebench. And you see it uh, render the picture. Not sure uh, what what decent marks are on uh, Cinebench, but um, looks like we're somewhere around 1,884, um, and uh, so that's that. The um, next benchmark we're going to show is going to be HWBot Prime, and uh, yeah, so I think we're actually going to submit Cinebench online. I think we're getting it set up um, with all of the, the checks so that it can be submitted online on HWBot. This is the first night that, uh, that we have done benchmarks and actually submitted uh, the results online. Uh, or actually the second night and uh, it's really pretty much the second time that that we've uh, that we've done benchmarks. So, anyway, so this is HWBot Prime. We're going to run, as you can see in that upper left-hand corner. The um, or no, maybe yep, you still can see. We have the set point at minus 109 degrees Celsius, and um, it might be set actually at minus 110. The awk will keep it within one degree. Um, so, here it's running, and you can see. Uh, there that there's a little bit of a about a half degree change maybe a little more about a half degree change so far so that's what uh, what type of a swing that uh, HWBot Prime um, uh, puts on the puts on the uh, the awk um, the the going um, understanding of thermodynamics with pots uh, says that um, the larger capacity uh, or larger size pot you have, um, the uh, the better it will hold down the temperature. Um, what we do with the awk is it's not a huge the head is not a huge um, mass of copper. Um, but it is extremely efficient at um, holding down temperatures. So as you can see here, we're changing the set point to 100, and uh, um, 
that's that's how you change set points from uh, within our configuring software um, when you are running uh, the awk uh, even during benchmarks so you can see it's allowed the temperature to go up to uh, 101.9 and uh, now it's at 101 so it'll maintain within a degree of 100 uh, minus 100 degrees Celsius I don't know if I said minus uh, 100 I was saying it's 109 anyways no we didn't ramp it up 100 degrees in 90 seconds but yeah so anyway so that's uh, HWBot Prime running and uh, we're nearing the the end of our uh, video. Thank you for watching. And if, uh, boy, if you've stayed r for the whole video, um, you should get something. You should get something for free. So just email me, and maybe maybe you'll get an honorable mention in the Hall of Fame credits uh, when we really figure out how to do things. Anyways, so. It looks like um, uh, we did run a really long HWBot Prime. Um, again, we're not uh, real uh, um, savvy on, on scores, so you'll have to, if you are a, uh, a bencher that has been doing this for a while, you'll have to actually look at the, the scores. Anyway, so that's how, that's how you control the set points during um, during the operations, uh, during benchmarks, you can actually, um, if you know how long your benchmark is and how, um, uh, what kind of temperatures you want for certain timings during the benchmark, you can actually write profiles, um, to run with, uh, with the awk on the left hand side, you can see, uh, far left, uh, hopefully you can see profile status. You can actually go in there and give up to, um, I think there's 12 positions you can save profiles. And uh, in each of the profiles, I believe there's 40 points. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't programmed profiles, so it may only be 8 or 10. So anyways, so that's how you, uh, uh, that's how you run the awk set up to benching. It's a pretty quick setup, maybe uh, 10 minutes to set up with the purge case, and uh, maybe another 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes to um, operating temperatures and then benching. So thank you for watching. Go to lnlcooling.com for more information, and uh, we hope to see you around with an awk in your possession setting world records. Bye-bye.